have a question for you. Have any of you ever heard of the, of the sport baseball? Has anybody ever heard of that sport before? Okay. If I said that I was a good baseball player, what are some things that I would have to be able to do? Yes. I would have to be able to swing the bat and hit the ball. What else? I would have to know how to pitch. Would I have to also know how to throw a ball? And catch a ball, right? And so there's things, if I said I was a good baseball player, we could put our hands down now. If I said that I was a good baseball player, I would have to be able to do those things, right? If I said I was a good baseball player and I didn't know how to do any of those things, would I be a good baseball player? No. No, I wouldn't. And so today we hear about Jesus. We're in the Gospel of Mark, okay? And in the Gospel of Mark, the very first words in the Gospel of Mark say, this is the beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is God. And so if Jesus is God, do you think that there are some things he should probably be able to do that us human beings can't do? Yeah, right? And so did you know there was a story last week about how Jesus was sleeping, and they awoke him in the midst of a really bad storm. And what did Jesus do to that storm? Does anybody remember? He calmed it down. And so Jesus shows that he has the power to calm storms. He's also showed us how he knows what's on people's hearts and minds. And so this shows that he has the power of God to be able to do that. Today, what does he do? He heals someone, and he even raises someone from the dead. Today, and in the future, in the future we'll see how he will multiply a little bit of food to feed thousands of people. Did you know he'll even show how he is God, that he'll walk on water? It's incredible. He shows us these things because he's the Son of God. Today, when you go back to your seats in just a minute, I'm going to tell a story about how Jesus heals. I want you to know something. Jesus does all of these things, but he doesn't just do them in the past. He continues to do them today. Okay? So I'm going to ask you to go back to mom and dad, and then I'm going to tell a story to everybody. We hear hear about the two stories today, a raising of a child from the dead, and truly the healing of someone who has suffered great affliction for many years at the hand of doctors. Doctors cannot heal her. I want to remind you that these are not just stories that we hear. These are events that actually happened. And Jesus continues to heal and do incredible things today. And I want to share a personal testimony of how Jesus has physically healed me in my own life. When I was around 21 years old, I lifted something uh, the wrong way that was too heavy. And if anybody has ever done that, I felt this zipper go across my back, and I I felt everything just tear up in my back. I pulled all kinds of muscles. I created absolute havoc. I was bedridden for a great period of time, and then I had to go to therapy after that. Anyone who's ever struggled uh, with a back injury knows that it's not something that magically goes away. Instead, You can receive therapy, you can have these exercises which help, but you have flare-ups over the time. About 10 years later, after my injury, when I was in seminary, I had one of those really bad flare-ups. It lasted about a week and a half. It was to the point of where I was just brought to tears. I was in such pain. I was doing my exercises, they were partially alleviating it, but the pain was there. And then something incredible happened. 
I noticed that in the midst of this, when I would be praying in the chapel, the pain would go away for that time of prayer. Before the prayer, the pain would be there. After the prayer, the pain would be there. But during the prayer, during my prayer time in the chapel, my prayer would not, my pain would not be there. I didn't know what was going on. I simply said, God, you kind of are in control. You know what's going on. And so I just gave it to him. That weekend, I was helping a seminary professor uh, evangelize out. Uh, a bunch of us seminarians were helping one of our uh, seminary professors evangelize in a parish. We were praying with people and inviting people to accept Jesus Christ for the first time in their life, or for those who knew Jesus Christ to renew their trust in him. Well, during that weekend, at the end of our time, I had the opportunity, each of us seminarians had the opportunity to renew our trust in God, and so we prayed with and for each other in a group. That time uh, went and came and passed, and I renewed my trust in God. And we drove about an hour home. When I got out of the car after that one hour drive, uh, my back was healed. I no longer had any pain. There was something that the Lord placed on my heart, that this was a permanent healing, that he had healed me. I remain healed with my back to this day. I have not had any flare-ups. The pain is completely gone. I wanted to share this with you because we hear about these stories in the Bible and we can fall into the trap of thinking that they're old stories, possibly even that they're myths or that they're legends. God still heals today. It is not something of the past. His healing is a mystery. I cannot tell you why he heals in some cases and not in others. I cannot tell you the exact reason why he healed my back. I cannot tell you why he waited 10 years to heal my back. Instead, I just want to focus on his goodness. God still continues his healing ministry today. Don't be afraid to ask for his healing. Don't be afraid to share stories of how he has healed you. Internal healings from wounds you've experienced or external physical healings. Because we have a God is, who is so good and desires to pour out his love upon us. Amen.